I was as dumb as a rock about banking. I worked on the industrial side my whole life. Uh, my background is technical, mechanical, electrical. Um, I was enormously flattered, shocked that I was asked to join uh, the Talbot Bank Board, but uh, embraced it. And the first 10 or 12 years was easy. It was routine. Um, blind chicken could get fat in that environment. Um, but um, come 2007, and by that time, you know, I was had not only been on the Talbot Bank Board, but I had joined the Shore Bank Shares, the holding company board. And then um, in 2006, I became the chairman. That was great for one year until 2007 when uh, Wall Street decided to turn the world upside down. And that impact was even greater on banking than anywhere, the Great Recession. And it was greater on Delmarva than it was in other parts of the country by a full measure a collapse of real estate values, the stress it put our customers under, the test it put our senior management and our board to. Uh, by 2008, um, we were fully aware of what was going on and um, the uh, hell that rained down on us for the next five years from 2008 to 2013 um, required our organization, our banks, um, uh, and all related activities uh, to just go through the greatest stress and reorganization, adaptation you could ever imagine. Yeah. We were enormously um, fortunate that our organization was overcapitalized. We had an abundance of capital. Uh, it was also enormously helpful that um, we had a board and senior management that was not afraid to um, stare it in the eye, see for what it was, and get to work quickly on uh, reorganization from the inside out. But at the same time, banking itself as a generic entity was shifting. Um, young people wanting to use mobile phones to bank, less traffic in the lobby, uh, de-emphasis of uh, bricks and mortar, uh, competition from non-regulated entities such as online companies wanted to survive and grow was uh, the need to have a, uh, an enhanced senior management team, guidance, and a savvy board. We were so fortunate uh, that even before me, uh, Moorhead Vermillion and others had the uh, foresight to bring on board people like Scott Beatty. And uh, Scott eventually became our CEO. Um, and he has a uh, set of specific skills that were not typical of regional bank presidents in the day, and that helped us thrive and survive. Did I ever have doubt? I, I think I had doubt in every meeting. Uh, no kidding. because. Uh, there's a lot at stake. You have, we have 300 some employees uh, which are uh, working people who have great expectations of us just like we have of them. Yeah. Um, we have shareholders who have expectations. We have regulators who typically have no sense of humor. And um, it is uh, an awful lot of responsibility for our senior management team and ultimately to the board. Uh, so there's plenty to worry about. You know, I, I was asked to be chairman, and often chairmen just serve a year and, or two. Um, but the big joke was, uh, during my uh, tenure, was that um, nobody wanted the job, so I got <laughs> stuck with it. And once things got good again, we, <laughs> I could find a replacement. <laughs> this is me talking to our board, uh, to the annual shareholders meeting in 2015. And part of my remarks included this. To succeed, we had to change. We struggled, we learned, we adapted, we improved, and we recovered from a persistent economic storm, the strength and duration of which had not been seen before. As we all know, even when it is for the better, change is usually uncomfortable, even painful. 
but our directors, our senior executives, and our employees did it. Some institutions did not and consequently paid a dear price.